Hi there, this is Linda. Welcome again to the Spirit of Watercolor. And I've been just playing in the paint here and thinking that it would be nice to have you join me. Um, one of the techniques that is really crazy and out of control feeling for a lot of people is wet on wet. And yes, indeed it is. Um, what I've done is I've got my board at a 30 degree angle by just putting something under this board and I've taped on my paper. We talked about taping in the uh, video about um, materials and supplies. And um, what I've done is wet the entire sheet of paper. Um, and then uh, I've applied that dab and drag into uh, certain flowers there. And um, we talked about this in that other media about dab and drag, where you take the brush, dab, drag, and lift, and create these shapes depending on the shape of your brush. And then here I'm just um, working with really wet paints, but um, the trick about um, applying a lot of paint um, like this uh, is I load my palette and then I load my brush and then I'm bringing it in here, as you can see, uh, and just letting that paint kind of explode on the paper. And the wetter the paper is, the more the color will not spread, or the wet of the paper is the less, the, the more it will spread, that's right. And so, you know, I'm just playing with the atmosphere around the flowers and letting the, the water do a lot of the work for me. And that's the hardest part for a lot of people is to not uh, try to control that too much and let it go. And as that water dries, you have more and more control. Um, some of my flowers have a little more detail here and others like down here are really really wet and I might bring back in detail as that dries. So that's just a real quick you know tip on uh, wet on wets and just to get in there and play and not try to control it too much. Uh, in fact you can control it even less by just squirting a little water in there and getting some like a little more uh, spreading and you can move your board back and forth and let gravity do a lot of the work for you and then eventually this will dry and you'll have something really interesting and again as it dries I'm making decisions as I go I'm not uh, it's a rather spontaneous kind of activity and um, a lot of it is the surprise that you get as you paint and uh, sometimes what you think is going to be there is going to change, but you've got to be willing to go with that. And that's part of the fun, that's part of the natural look, the spiritual look of it. And, um, you know, we just keep uh, applying and letting things dry more and then make decisions, bring more color in. Okay, now I'm thinking about putting in just a little bit of maybe some leaf color. So I'll grab some green off my John Pike palette here. And I've mixed some greens with blues and got, I've got cool greens and warm greens. And I'll bring some of that in as well. And just see where that goes. Maybe kind of emulate a leaf shape like that. Dab, drag, and lift. It can be done either wet or dry. Uh, these ones I did on dry paper. So that was wet on dry. And these are more wet on wet, as you can see. And it's very pleasing. I, um, and, you know, it's going to spread because this is very, very wet here. And as that dries again, I can get more hard edge. The edges are going to be really soft. It's going to really flow here. And as it dries, I can get more definition. What fun. And how much of an escape is that, right? <laughs> and um, eventually I'll bring in some other greens, but right now I'm just using really light sort of a green gold. It's one of my favorite colors by Daniel Smith. You'll notice I use a lot of their paints because they kind of seem pre-mixed already. So with that, that's our quick um, wet on wet uh, ex uh, exercise. And I hope you're enjoying playing with me at your paints there. Um, so with that, I hope you'll have some fun and you'll experiment and learn along with me. Uh, sometimes I learn something new too. Um, so there's a wet on wet as it's drying. And after it dries, I can go back in, wet it again, and go 
more wet on wet or just wet on dry more control um, so so thank you for watching uh, as always it's a joy to be with you and I hope you will click the like button and subscribe and we'll keep on learning together have a wonderful day and keep on the spirit